What's going on guys? Today I have for you guys a JJRC H37 LT review. Now this is a sort of pocket mini selfie drone by JJRC obviously. And um, it's quite interesting because obviously you see it has this kind of foldable design and we'll get into a little bit more in detail about that later. But it kind of replicates the ZeroTech Dobby. So you consider this sort of a cheap uh, toy ZeroTech Dobby if you will. Uh, minus a lot of the features but we'll get into that in a bit. So the main and probably the most important thing and the most interesting thing, thing about it to me is obviously the foldable design which is pretty cool I have to say. Um, it doesn't you know it's not perfect it definitely has its flaws being a foldable design like when you crash for example sometimes some of the arms will get pushed in and then you won't be able to fly because if like an, one arm is pushed in you know it's, it's gonna unevenly distribute the weight so you're gonna need to walk over there if you crash and push in the arm and uh, reset the arms manually pull it apart before you can fly again so this is that's probably one of my biggest problems with this thing is just it's just a little bit of a nuisance to have to do that but uh, yeah so about the quadcopter itself obviously it has this design it's cool portable um, you could fold it up, put it in a backpack, it even comes with this cool little velvet pouch, which actually feels very nice, I'm not going to lie. And it fits in there quite nicely, and you could just throw it in your, your book bag or whatever, and take it with you wherever you go. So the portability is really the main draw of this little quadcopter here. Now, in terms of, it is a selfie quadcopter, by the way. So in terms of camera, the camera is not so hot. I believe it's only 640 by 480 resolution so that's a 480p I don't know why it's advertised as 720 because 480p is not 720p which would be HD so it's not quite HD I'm not exactly sure why it's advertised as HD at least where I've seen but it doesn't seem to be I'll put some uh, flight footage as well um, the camera is adjustable so that's pretty cool that's always good you know when you have the option to adjust the camera and uh, it's controlled via smartphone via the Wi-Fi app so it's the JJRC UFO app and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit but back on the design so uh, I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place I'm still getting the hang of these quadcopter review videos so the design um, another thing I wanted to mention real quick is the battery bay which is a little bit tricky so I was trying to just kind of like pull it up at first and I'm like why isn't it an opening why is it an opening but really what you have to do is slide it down and then you have to kind of pry it open. If you have nails, you know, then maybe you, you'll be able to open it a little bit easier. But I found that a, a proper mover tool is actually very handy even though I just push it down again. And then once it's finally open, the other issue, I don't know if you guys can see this, but inside the battery bay where the connector sits is actually just a little too deep to be able to put the, the battery. This is the included battery, by the way. But it's just a little too deep to be able to put this battery in there I mean it's definitely doable but it's just really difficult you really have to kind of fiddle with it and it's not like something that that's quick and easy so it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to and it's that that part can be a little bit annoying but aside from that once the battery is in it's a little bit snug you see it kind of I don't know if you guys can see this it kind of pulls on the wire a little bit so it creates sort of this bend which is not good for a battery and you know eventually you might have to replace the lead but yeah, so you get about roughly between 7 and 10 minute flight times. Actually pretty good on the flight times. It's definitely something that I was impressed with. Um, definitely less flight times in higher wind or if you're pushing it harder. But yeah, so this is controlled via the JJRC UFO app. And there's no hardware transmitter. So this means that, you know, it's a Wi-Fi selfie drone. And that sounds good in theory. You know, you, you don't have to bring a bunch of extra things, accessories, transmitter your transmitter case all these things but a smartphone you know wi-fi drones are kind of they have their place right i like the idea of having a the potential to open up the camera on my smart, smartphone along with the transmitter or maybe as a second screen you know if you want to give it to a spectator someone that you're you're going out with and you guys are hanging out and you you know you show them the screen if you're flying so they can kind of see what you're seeing through the camera while you're flying but as a main screen and as a transmitter i feel like touch screens 
that this this is just my personal preference, but I don't like touchscreen transmitters, so I'm a little bit biased. If you like it and this is your sort of thing, then I mean, hey, this is your sort of thing, especially for the price, you can't beat it. I think it's on sale for like $35 right now. Obviously, the price will vary depending on when you click on this or when you check the price out, but as of making this video, I think it's on sale for like $35 at your best, so yeah. And um, the Wi-Fi transmitter is not for me. It's slightly sluggish, slightly unresponsive, and I'm pretty sure that's more of a transmitter issue than it is a actual quadcopter issue. Because when you fly the quadcopter in, you know, no winds or indoors, which is, it's a little too big to fly indoors and a little bit too fast. It can be done. It's definitely not the worst, but um, I think it's more of an outdoor quadcopter, unless you go to a big wide open space. And yeah, so you really need to fly, you know, in, in minimal wind condition to be able to fly this properly. It doesn't handle the wind all too well. <laughs> You'll see some of my flight footage where it's just getting pushed around terribly and it's really difficult to fight, fight the wind. I went on a flight earlier with this, actually multiple, where I spent the entire duration of the flight just literally trying to fight the wind. So that could definitely be a struggle. And um, yeah, so it has this power button on top. And it has some lights, the battery's not in, obviously, so it's not going to show up. And the last thing I wanted to talk about, really, is the camera. So, this is, I know I touched on this earlier, it's advertised as a 720p camera, and the footage is 480p. So, you could tell right off the bat, you know, 480p footage is not going to be the greatest, and it's not, right? It's not the greatest, but for the price, I really can't complain. It's a ZeroTech Dotty clone. And that's kind of kind of what it is, you know, you kind of get what you expect for the price. The ZeroTech Dobby, I think, is like 10 times more of the price. And I'd say this is, it's not 10 times better. I'll say that. I think this is, it definitely, you know, struggles in a lot of areas, but it's really hard for them to manufacture something that is excels in a bunch of areas for the price. I mean, this thing is definitely pretty cool for what it does. You could just take it anywhere. It's so portable. I could literally fit this in my pocket, you know, maybe throw it in the pouch, put it in my back pocket. Don't just don't sit on it because this it, the material is pretty flimsy plastic and I uh, wouldn't want to sit on it. But I really wouldn't feel bad or worried about throwing this in a book bag. You know, I wouldn't feel like it's going to get damaged or anything. It does feel pretty durable. And yeah. Um, aside from that, that is the JJRC Elfie H37 review. Now I'll have a full review up on the website, so check in the description for that, and I'll you know continue updating it with my thoughts as I uh, fly this thing and as it progresses. But yeah, that is it. Feel free to check it out in the link below. I hope you guys did enjoy, and thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this thing. Peace.